Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I hope that you enjoyed the last video, and I hope that you'll bear with me as we're making a few technical changes, so help me keep an eye out, and uh, you'll notice some settings have changed here in the game. I've switched the color of the selection circles to mix things up a little bit, make it more individual. You can see that this selection circles underneath each of our party members now matches the primary color of their outfits. And I have also turned on outlining so that the sprites stand out a little bit more from the background. You can probably see that very thin black outline around the sprites, which also lights up in their primary color as well. So, am I? Okay. Can you hear me over the wind now? Is that too loud, too quiet? Let me know how it sounds. We'll adjust on the fly. Good, okay. Yeah, I'm still putting a lot of these settings in as we swap from uh, one set of streaming software over to the other, and I've replicated a bunch of my scenes and inputs and things like that, but I have not done fine-tuning on stuff like the audio pickup. So... Alright, if that's good, then we will go on. So, here we go. Let's see. Bandit Bounty is still active. Madness, most foul. And, of course, we have to find Gurky's Cloak. Now, last time, we did the Firewine Ruins and came up here in the Halfling Village of Gullikin. You have but to ask. I also found the setting that I had accidentally turned off where all of the, like, interactable objects were highlighted. It's this button. Look at that. It's that simple. I don't know how I turned it off, but whatever. It's back on now. Alright, let's get right into it. Uh, since we are here in Gullikin Village... We're going to need to rest somewhere before we go do too much more adventuring, but I would like to investigate these homes, if the owners will have us. And you know what? Something else that we probably should adjust is, let's see here. Send feedback. What I want to do is I want to adjust so that um, oh, where is it? So that uh, where it has their name and HP over each character, like constantly floating there, I think that I'm going to turn that off if I can. Highlight selected sprite. Here we go. On their portrait, we do want to see that. Avatars of all creatures during combat, that's fine. I feel like there's an option for it. But I'm not 100% sure where it is. Let me look in. Oh, wait, here we go. Assign keys. Let's see. It might be here. Face, hard pause, blah blah blah. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I'm not a hundred percent certain. I shall attend to it in a trice. Well, let's see what's over here. History of the North Seven. Floor cache. Nothing. What's down here? Folks, it's a staircase. I know you can get there. 
a halfling man. This is almost exactly the same setup as uh, what's his name. I shall attend to it in a trice. It shall be as you wish. Which actually, we probably should go back it shall over be there as you wish. because looking at that layout just now tells me we might have potentially missed something. What's his name? Jankel. Here we go. We hit all you three of these containers. Ask. This one. I shall attend to it in a trice. Oh, okay. That's what I was worried about. You the have a tiny little ask. box on the end. It shall be as you wish. We're getting close to some in character goals here. Denny here is about to level up just 400 more points, so what I'm hoping is that by the time we finish exploring this map, she will be ready to go. Then she'll be able to cast that dispel to magic spell that she already knows. And when that happens, we can head back and we will be able How may I be to complete I the to to quest to with, uh, what is it, Melicamp, I think? Huh, you're this way. The uh, person who's been turned into a chicken. Ooh, a magic sling. Oh, she's full up. Okay. Uh, here. I'm sure that that's just a plus one sling, but you never know. Yeah, sling plus one. So that's the same thing as uh, Denny here already has. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in But that's trunks. okay. I am by no means sorry that we went ahead want? and purchased I've the one she's been nothingness. using because uh, it was too good of a purchase. It was too little money and we were able to afford it. And if we had passed it up earlier, we probably would not have done quite as well in some of the fights that we have been in with Denny here since then, such as in the Firewine Ruins. Cool, ball plate yep. and packing steel. This way. Her range DPS has contributed at least something. I always expect you, Braylor. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we need to clean some of this out, obviously. The Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. It shall be as you wish. It shall be as you wish. Okay, there. It shall be as you wish. Adventurer privilege. I'm certain that these halflings do not mind us going inside and rifling through their things. After all, we just saved their village and their way of life, right? He I said, grimacing sarcastically. I wish I had my old tobacco pipe. Okay, there's too many I witnesses to here to uh, be as you wish. earn our rightful rewards. You have but to ask. <laughs> In most of these types of D&D games, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, uh, Temple of Elemental Evil, uh, some of the different Black Isle and Troika games, there is almost always at least one I care not. NPC who calls you out for just barging into their home uninvited. And they're like, oh, you adventurer types, you always think that you can just do this. Like, what gives you the right How to be I here? I didn't ask you into my home. Wish. Why are you here? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This way. It's a stream. Two point, full plate, and packing what you steel. What want? This way. Look, look. Ooh, a gem. This long chest right here at the foot of the stairs seems to always be locked on these maps. Well, we got 17 experience points for unlocking it anyway. Floor cash. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. You have but to ask. I guess it's technically not floor cash you if we find it ask. in a box. But, you know, I'm like... It's... It's metaphysically floor cash, right? Spiritually, it's floor cash. Okay. 
let's get in a rest here. There we go. We didn't heal a whole lot. Because we had used most of our spells. Do we have anything that needs to be identified? Those two things. Is that it? Yeah, we're doing pretty well because, um, actually, Denny here has been able to identify almost all of the magic stuff that we found. So it's great that we really don't have that much left. Okay, I am going to go ahead and rest again. Yeah, box cash doesn't have quite the same ring to it, does it? It doesn't seem as fun. Protection from poison, there we go. Let's rest one more time because Imowen is still badly hurt. Oh, hmm, okay. Heart's really not in this. Oh, my heart's really not in this. The NPC's screaming because kobolds just show up out of nowhere. Like, oh, me too, honestly. My blade will cut you down to size. That's all right, though. At least they're just kobolds. All right. We got, we got enough rest in that Emmelwyn is now at full health, so no Make worries. Servant as you direct. Now here's some floor cash. Floor cash makes me nostalgic for Might and Magic, although I'm always nostalgic for Might and Magic, I guess. It's kind of what this whole channel's about. When you yes. think about it, you know. You have but to ask. Alright. <laughs> it's, it's true. You have to be nice to your local adventurers because, you know, kobolds could just teleport in at any moment. But especially while you're sleeping. They are particularly active during those hours. It's teleporting all over the place. There we go. Reached that corner pretty quickly. I actually can't recall clearly exactly what's on this map. I don't know if there is anything super interesting here besides Gullykin. That's certainly the most interesting thing. but I don't recall whether it's the only interesting thing. I want to say that there's at least some other stuff, but... Oh good, the water textures are behaving today. That's the best you can ask for, considering that uh, I'm using an entire new streaming client software and just set everything up so this is this is actually um i wanted to do it last week when all of the news broke about Streamlabs, but this is actually the first time that i am actively streaming uh in original flavor obs uh-oh so we finally meet poor little generic i assume you're completely clueless as to why you must die I'm sure you've already had problems with an assortment of incompetent bounty hunters. Well, those days are done. Today, you will die. Will we? Well, let's see. Hmm. How are we going to handle this one? Shall we just beg them to leave us alone? Uh, shall we threaten them? After all, we have taken down everyone that has come after us. Uh, or shall we, uh, shall we beg to know the name of the person who's trying to kill us? That is certainly the most melodramatic one. 
but it also implies that uh, Jin thinks that he's not going to make it out of this. And I mean, we know we're going to make it out, right? Hmm. This is also pretty dramatic, I guess. I'm sure you'll be about as much trouble as the rest of the rabble we've killed. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of feeling it because uh, he came at us. So let's just, uh, you know, like, don't don't come for us unless we send for you. You'll be a feisty kill, little one. When you die, know that it was Molkar who killed you. Okay. How may I be of assistance? Well, first things first. Let's see if we can get in a, uh, a silent spell. There we go. And now we can cast spells into the Entangle, but they can't cast spells out of it. Hey, nice. Now let's see. Morvan, Drakkar, Halakan, and Molkar. This is the one that has mirror image on, I think. Let's use a uh, magic missile to get Who's rid of some of those. And maybe we'll cast whole person on some of these others. is injured. Yes. Let's wait in. How may I be of assistance? What is it this time? My blade will cut you down the side. Get him while he's paralyzed, which is, you know, fighting dirty, but then they're trying to kill us, so. Ooh, this guy's a cleric because he's got a spiritual hammer. Let's take him out. Oh, Jahira just leveled up. Look at that. Love it. It shall be. Let's give them a right thrashing. Drakkar's about to go down. Where are you going, Jahira? Oh, she's confused. Alright, that's time? fine, because Halakan's left- Oh, Dinah here just leveled up, there we go. My right. blade will cut you down to size. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority, oh, we've got another fear spell, or confusion spell. Did I wish my ear? Well. There we go, that's that. You've a task, as you direct. Jin. Jen, my Jen, my son, please. Hello. Oh, these confusion spells. That's so funny because he's the one who has he has removed fear, like memorized. Uh oh, kobold spawned behind us. Oh, it's the ladies to save the day. Down the All right, girls, let's do this. They don't really have a chance. There we go. Nature serves the group. Let's collect this floor cash. While everyone else is getting over their uh, their issues here. There we go. Yes. That's better. You have but to ask. Love it. Okay, Jahira just picked up. That's color spray? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and level up. This should make her a level 5 druid. Excellent. She's got level 3 spells now. And an extra level 2 slot, too. Hmm. See, we have Charm Person or Mammal. We have Slow Poison, which has been very important. Uh, 
bark skin could also be pretty useful. It's going to be useful in a wider variety of situations than resist fire and cold, but resist fire and cold, as we have seen, can be um, a pretty good buff as well, because that's going to have all of the fire and cold damage that the subject takes. So fireballs, ice breath, you know, whatever. Um, let's do it. Let's do that. And here we go third level druid spells. So she's got call lightning, which is great. Multiple lightning bolts round after round. Cure disease. Cure medium wounds. Hold animal. Dispel magic. Invisibility purge. Uh, and now that she has leveled up, see, we could go back and complete that quest anyway. Denny here had it in her book, but this way she can do it too. Zone of sweet air. Hmm. Rigid thinking. Summon insects. There are so many good ones. She only has one slot. More healing spells is always better, but I'm really tempted to do Cure Disease just because uh, we've encountered that once or twice. But it has only been once or twice. It, it is... Um, it is situational. Let's do... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Call Lightning because we need more AoE attacks, and at least this one only hits enemies. So, see, so it has to be cast outside. Then you can call down one bolt of lightning per round. It lasts one round for every four levels. Each bolt causes two D8 points of electrical damage plus an additional 1D8 points per level of the caster. So at 8th level, you'd get two bolts that dealt 10d8 damage. And it flashes down in a vertical stroke at any of the priest's enemies. The first enemy struck by the lightning will be the enemy targeted. After that, any enemy, but no allies, may be struck by the ensuing lightning storm. So that's really great because it's just like Holy Smite. That way we're guaranteed not to hurt ourselves with friendly fire. And here we go. Denny here is leveled up as well. And now she has third level spell slots also. Lore went up by three. Very nice. And we get a first level spell slot. Hmm. This would be a great time to get back the magic missile that we gave up to keep an identify spell kind of on tap. I'm also tempted to do chromatic orb because at this point it would be 1d8 damage and stuns the target, which is not bad. But she also now gets three magic missiles per cast because she's level five. Let's go with another magic missile, I think, for now. And then, ooh, look at this. We've built up a pretty good selection of third level spells. Vampiric Touch, Skull Trap, Protection from Fire and Cold, Spell Deflection, Hold Undead, Flame Arrow, Lightning Bolt and Fireball, of course, and importantly, Dispel Magic. Well, we have to have one of those for now, at least. Now, Lightning Bolt is a lot harder to use in 2nd edition uh, than it is in later editions because, as you've seen, it can bounce. And that means that you can get in multiple hits with it if you aim it correctly, which can be really great. Like, you can get a lot of mileage out of that spell by having it jump around and hit enemies multiple times and zigzag back and forth through them. On the other hand, it's also very, very easy to hit your own party with it. So I'm actually going to go with a fireball for now, and then after we get what we need out of Dispel Magic, then we will see about switching to Lightning Bolt, and we'll give that a try as well. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Let's see what they had for us. Stop. What goodies did they bring us? Oh boy, color spray, sleep, detect illusion, floor cash. Floor cash, potion of absorption, a magic morning star. Floor cash. Hey, magic long sword, a potion of heroism, and some magic chain mail. Cool. Well, that's not nothing. Now, Jin can use Morning Stars, uh, or at least it's possible for him to get that, but I don't know if he has it. Yes, okay. Flail and Morning Star are the same proficiency in 2nd edition. So, 
here is our flail plus one, we can also use that morning star plus one. Or whatever kind of morning star it is. I'm pretty sure it's a plus one. Oh. We already used our spell for the day. I'm pretty certain that all of these are just plus one weapons, but you never know. Okay, we will have to identify them later. Vita, more, more. Down here. Slow poison, actually. Vita, How may I be a decision? Jin. Buddy. You've aboard the group. What is it this time? You have but to ask. What what's your deal? Why are you not casting this spell? You see the indicator up there showing that he's doing it and then it just goes away. He's casting Cure Light Wounds on Mist, but he won't cast Cure Moderate Wounds on Khalid for some reason? Weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Something is up yes. where he's already... Like, he doesn't have the spell memorized. So that's just a mechanical glitch. I hear someone shrieking. We'll head this way and find out why. And who. Khalid will be fine in the meantime. Wargs, oh boy. Nasty boys. Bad, nasty boys. My blade will cut you down to size. I understand why wargs attack you, why they start out, you know, automatically hostile because that's kind of the point of wards. They are wolves that are intelligent enough to be evil. I wish that they would kind of replace all of the generic um, wolves that attack you in the wilderness with wards. Because wolves get such a bad rap and it's like, the average wolf doesn't want anything to do with a person. I mean, really. get up there doesn't look like we can oh Let's on behind us again. This. For the fallen! oh my heart's really not in this oh my heart's we really get it not in this. for the fallen Get it. You don't enjoy killing kobolds. It's fine. For the you don't have to like it, but you do have to do it. Okay, uh, can I help you? If none are better. At least they brought us a little cash. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. Okay. I, I guess we can't really get up there. So let's head back down this way. We've got plenty to explore in the middle. I don't 
see a pathway here. Yeah, the, the cursor is indicating that we can't get up there. Maybe if we could teleport. It makes sense that Gullican is just north of Firewine Bridge because this looks like part of the same dried up river system that Firewine goes across. So when you think about it, geographically speaking, Oh, wow. Okay, so you could just go behind. Well, that's perfectly fine. It looks like we can't get up on that formation either. Not a very inviting map. Well, I guess other than Molkar, it has turned out then that... Uh, Gullikin is about the only thing of real interest here. And like with most of the bounty hunters, that encounter could technically have spawned on any map. Those are story-based, and as you go further into the plot and reach certain milestones, uh, different encounters are added to the table for the computer to roll off of, and they can spawn at any random encounter spawn point, I believe is the way that it works. There's the person who is Go screaming. for the eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Rask! Oh, they have a dire wolf with them. No. A couple of dire wolves. Much more of a threat than the kobolds. Let's give them a right thrashing. Or at least these kobolds. I have learned in my many years of Dungeons and Dragons to never underestimate them kobolds right when I encounter them. But where there are kobolds, there are especially traps. Right. And often there are also things like, you know, dragons. Because you dragons love me. to collect kobold servants. These kobolds, though, not much of a threat unless they have the flaming arrows that we saw what back in Firewine. I shall attend to it in a trice. Alright, well that's it for Gullikin then. So we're gonna have to decide where to head next. Oh, speaking of uh, flaming arrows. Alright! I really not in this. No! Ooh -hoo. No! Hey Jin, do you think that maybe you could uh, heal him now? up his cure moderate wounds or whatever. Well, this is second edition, so cure medium wounds, I should yep. say. I'm gone. Flaming arrows everywhere. What is it this time? Okay, well, that's that. I think this is over this way because it's like the edge of the map, so it shall be as you wish. we can't really uncover another zone from here. So where to next? Whew. There are a few little areas around here that we have not uh, fully uncovered, but let's see. Honestly, we probably should head back to Baragost. We need to unload a bunch of our junk, and then we need to go and find Melicamp, don't we? Actually, so we can complete that quest. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Oh, Lord. For right! My blade will cut you down to size. I cannot. Okay. Ladies. Yes. Go for the Let's do this. Go for Let's the give them a right. We wanted to mob our archers, so we'll just. 
hit them with sticks and swords and knives and everything. Actually. My blade will cut you down to size. For the fallen. I shall turn to it in a truck. Whatever they need. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. that for a little while. I can, but try. Cash? Cash? Giberlins never carry too much, so... But occasionally they'll have some good stuff. Like one up there looks to have a spell scroll. I do believe. No less than done. Unfortunately, one that she can't use, but that's all right. I think she should be able to have room for that one. Yes, detect illusion. There we go, another useful spell. And yeah, we're pretty full up. I shall attend to it in a trice. So I think Baragost it is. It shall be Let's as head you over wish. to Feldapost's inn because we know that he purchases all kinds of gems and things like that. Well, actually, you know, maybe we should go to the Burning Wizard. That's our usual hangout. That's kind of become our spot, hasn't it? Leaving you. It shall be as you wish. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Now our healing spell should be back to normal. You, you have to ask. And there we are. Now on to Feldapost's end. Oh, whoops. I went out without the rest of the party. I did not gather my party before venturing forth. You have but to ask. And the gank it shall be as you wish. me. Gasp, honestly. TBPH. It shall be as you wish. All right, let's sell some of this junk. Okay, the Chazar Gem, Lairel's Tear, Pearl Necklace, Zircon, Jasper, Zyos, Gold, Blue Stone. Is that everything? Ah, oh, there we go. Secret Bloodstone Gem. Don't need that. Sunstone. She can't use Sleep anyway. We sold the fire resistance one, so we might as well sell that too. She can't use that. Okay. I think that'll do us. We still don't need that Battle Axe plus one or Composite Longbow plus one. We have plus one weapons on everybody except for Jahira now. She's the only one who does not have a magic weapon of some kind. Everyone else who needs one has both a magical melee weapon and a magical ranged weapon, which is wonderful. You have but to ask. Let's go sell these weapons and this armor. 
I forgot because we rested twice in a row, I should have identified um, an extra one of those items we just found. My oops. It's alright, it happens. I'm so glad Denny here finally has like 30 hit points. <laughs> Wizards are so squishy. That's oh, okay, that's just a wizard. Let's see. Let's start with this one. I'm, I'm gonna find out whether or not it has any additional problems. Okay, it is just a Morning Star plus one. So that being the case, is it better than our Flail plus one? Now look here. The damage is better. Maximum damage goes up by one because this Flail is 1d6 plus two. Speed factor is six. This is 2d4 plus one. Speed factor is six. So they are pretty much identical, except that the Morning Star is a little bit stronger. So I think we can sell this plus one flail. We don't need it. It uses the same proficiency as the Morning Star, and the Morning Star hits a little harder. I shall attend to it in a trice. Right, that's a cool thousand gold. We can sell this sling plus one as well. This long sword we do not need. Okay, keep those. Hmm. Does he have anything that we need? Arrows. Need to check how many bullets she actually has. In fact, I'm not even going to check. I'm going to... Buy her a couple of stacks. Well, she doesn't have room for more than one stack in her inventory right now. Leather armor plus one. Small shield plus one. I'd say we're pretty good. Um, yeah... Although I am starting to think about this, because we've almost broken 30,000 gold. So, what do you say we treat ourselves? Um, I don't want to buy both of them right now, because n neither Imowen nor Denahir is getting beaten up a lot. But we should have at least one of them, right? So, this one is cheaper, it costs about half as much. But Emowen has better armor overall anyway. So what do you say? Would you rather buy this Shadow Armor plus 3 for Emowen, which will increase her AC by 1 and give her plus 15% bonus to Hide and Shadows? Or do you want to go grab that Robe of the Good Archmagi for Denahir from the High Hedge? You decide while I identify this other stuff. I'm going to go down here to the Jovial Juggler, and we're going to rest a couple times so that we can identify that chainmail and that sword. Because even with the bonus she just got from leveling up, apparently her lore is still not quite high enough to do it without a spell. And that's fine. You have but to ask. We needed to come in here anyway so that we could talk to Officer Vi. stuff. Jahira. Oh, of course her inventory's full. I just bought her ammo. There we go. So I knew she was down almost a whole stack, so... Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the robe as well, Crow, uh, just because, like... Emowen's AC is already 2, which is better than Denahir's, and she has more hit points. Plus, also, while a better AC is always great, um, we're not using Hide and Shadows very much when we're sneaking around. Denahir has less HP, and her AC is higher, which means she's going to be hit more often anyway than Emowen. Oh, this wasn't just plus one chainmail. Oh, good. 
This is the Mail of the Dead. A mage can make an extremely effective assassin, as Varusta illustrated over 400 years ago. He would create skeleton warriors equipped with this enchanted armor and a powerful blade, and give their circlet of power to the target as a friendly gift. When the killing machine was through with its work, Varusta retrieved the equipment and started the entire process over. Very nice. AC3, 1 versus slashing, 5 versus crushing. Is that better than what some of our boys are wearing here? So this is AC3, 0 versus slashing. This is 3, 1 versus slashing, 5 versus crushing. Okay, so... It has a story, but it doesn't have any special properties. It is just plus two chainmail. And plus two chainmail is great, but it's not as good as plate mail, which is what both Minsk and Jin have. But it could be better than splint mail. Three, one, and five. So base AC is better. It improves his AC versus piercing and missile. Two versus crushing. So his AC gets worse versus crushing attacks, like maces and morning stars and stuff like that, or flails. But it gets better against everything else. What do you think? Is that a good trade? Is that a trade up? Because his AC actually gets one point worse technically, because this base AC is 4, and the other one is base AC 5 versus crushing attacks. So it gets one point worse versus crushing attacks, but it gets better against everything else. Including, so it's 3 versus piercing and missile, 3 versus everything else, uh, and then 1 versus slashing, which is probably the most common type of damage. Hmm... If he had plate mail on, I would say no, but because this is splint mail, yeah, I, th I think it might be an upgrade. It, the only downside is he's, his AC is going to be one worse versus crushing. Oh, it can't be equipped because he has the protector plus one. I forgot. There we go. Okay. Now. There. So that way you can see something that gives you plus one to AC doesn't stack with magical armor. Right? Is there anybody who doesn't have one of those? Minsk has a ring, but not an amulet. Jahira has an amulet. Khalid has magic armor. Jin has a ring. Imowen has neither, but she has magic armor. Denahir has a ring. Okay. So that means that this is, at the moment, useless-ish. It's not completely useless. And the reason why is because at some point we may find a, a really good ring and we want to replace one of those rings of protection. And when that is the case, then what we can do is we can still get the bonus of the Ring of Protection by putting the amulet on that person and putting the ring away. Plus one longsword, as we thought. Okay. I wonder if she can identify these with her lore skill now. Yes! Awesome! Awesome. She's seen enough of those that she no longer needs a spell. Good, 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 good. Okay, well. Let's put things like this. Let's go down here and talk to... There's Officer Vi. Excellent. Bandit scalps, here we go. Okay. Cool, very cool. I shall attend to it in a trice. 
All right, I'm going to go sell the rest of this stuff that we just identified and Khalid's old splint mail. And you think we should go and pick up the uh, that robe from the high hedge, you say? Leaning that way. We would still have 10,000 gold left, which it is a as not insignificant wish. amount. It's like, I am certain that uh, as soon as we buy it at that price... We are almost immediately going to find one somewhere, but something that we have to keep in mind is that the people that we are fighting and defending ourselves against are not going to be wearing those because they can only be worn by people of good alignment, specifically by mages of good alignment. Okay, I think that cleans our inventory up pretty much. Good, okay. It shall be as you wish. All right, let's go pick up that robe then. We'll go do that and then solve the chicken quest. I shall attend to it in a trice. On the way. And of course, we've already been here. There shouldn't really be any random encounters. I hope. Oh, well, <laughs> make a liar out of me. Let's have Can Khalid I switch to the harrower. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Run! Random scale. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes! There we go. It shall be as we double check. They shouldn't have anything because they're just skeletons. Yeah, that's, that's it. You have but to ask. Hope that his flesh golems don't bother us. It shall be as you wish. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. We want to purchase things from you. Here we go. We don't have anything else to sell, really. We just need to buy. He's got magical bullets and some other mage equipment, as we saw earlier. And later on, we might come back for some of these. We should have already purchased all or most of the spells. I think that, that we could, that Denny here didn't already have. I don't remember if his inventory changes over time, but I, th I think at the moment we're good. Okay, here we go. Robe of the Good Archmagi. Whew, that is a lot of money. But we can afford it, which is awesome. Okay, there we go. Purchase made. And here we go, check that out. Her AC is going to drop to zero when she puts this on. Plus one to all saving throws and 5% magic resistance, which is great. And she looks really cool. She gets a hood. Check that out. Worth it, honestly, just for the glam. Okay, now that being the case, we might as well sell the knave's robe. Obviously, she's not going to switch back to it and wear it, and if we ever need one, we know that we can come back here and we can purchase it. That shouldn't be a concern. I shall attend to it in a trice. There we go. Awesome. She looks very cool. Okay, now we just need to go and... Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes! Okay. Go! 
You know what, actually? I wish my ear. Screw this, kind of? Boom, baby. That's the power of Fireball. Man, I aimed that really well. Even better than I intended to. How may I be of assistance? Which I don't have time to wish. deal with you. Okay, now, which one was Melacamp in? I think it was here. No. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. Okay, then is it this one? Yes. Here we go. It shall be as you wish. No reason to travel incorrectly and uh, have to travel twice. There we go. Here we go. We saved her. Yes, so I clicked through this last time. We'll do it again, and that way you can see the whole conversation. Because um, since we didn't have Dispel Magic, I didn't want to go through the whole thing. Thank you. You've, you've saved me. <laughs> this bird is foul. Forsooth, methinks you are no ordinary talking chicken. I certainly hope you're jesting with me. Indeed, I am no ordinary talking chicken, and I am in need of your help. Okay, well, um, my apologies, good chicken. What has caused your current accursed state? Thank the mother of all magic. Mayhaps now I might end this nightmare. I am Melacamp of Baragost, a mage adept in the mystical arts. A misread incantation seems to be the source of my troubling form. It has been over a month since I uttered a polymorph spell, and I simply cannot return to my normal form. Okay, well, we have a passing knowledge of majory. Can we help to spell this um, foul condition? I would, but dispels beyond my. Uh, um, rather, I exhausted my memorized spells earlier, and now I cannot access my spell book. Have you, or a member of your party, the ability to cast such a spell? Of course, do not move until the casting be done. All right, Denny here. No less than done. Take it away, lady. It it didn't work. Bother and blast! Your skill is no better than I mean. <laughs> Rather, I, I fear that you have not the ability to release my enchantment. My only recourse now is to find my master. Would you take me to the tower near Baragost? Tis there we will find Thalantir. He might hit. He should be able to deal with this. Okay. Hmm. For being his apprentice, you seem unsure of his willingness to help you. Oh, tis nothing. Really? Um, often the relationship between apprentice and master is some. Strained. He will help, I'm certain. Okay. Thank you. It's located just to the west of Baragost. Valentir lives in a large manor there. I'll just nestle in your pack until we get there. Party has gained an item, Melacamp the Chicken. Who had there we go. That's appropriate that Khalid should be carrying him. But we're going to give him to Minsk. Minsk has more uh, experience. <laughs> I shall attend to it in a trice. And now that she has exhausted what we needed to spell magic for, there we go. We'll grab a lightning bolt. Back to the high hedge. 
I shall attend to it in a trice. Oh lord. Oh, I hot more skeletons. They're very popular around these parts. Go Let's give them the a eyes, right fresh. Go for the eyes! Brusk! And a bunch of black bears. Again, four black bears. That's another encounter spawn point. A meandering menagerie. You have but to ask. All right, Thalantir. Why do I live in such a pissant town? I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated I wish for you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, actually. See, we happen to rescue this um, talking chicken. Chickens do not talk. So quite obviously, it is a polymorphed being of some kind. Spells such as that wear off in time, or can be dispelled. It is a simple matter, and one not worth the waste of my day. Keep moving. Hmm. Yes, why are you so rude? No. I'm quite aware of the mute status of chickens, thank you very much. Yes, this is a transformed man, but is also a man who claims to be your apprentice. That is why I brought him here. Apprentice? I have had no apprentice. I teach no one about what I... Wait. Melicamp? Melicamp, is that you? Yes, Master Thalantir, it is I. I am no master to you. And you are no apprentice. What gall you have to expect help from me? Okay, so he's not Thalantir's student, but Thalantir does know him. A student wishes to learn, while this fool wishes only to have knowledge. I will tutor no one who does not understand the ramifications of what I have to teach. Not getting the quick gratification he wished, he instead chose to steal from me. You speak of so much, but show so little. I only wish to learn a fraction of the power you possess. It has taken me some fifty-odd years of life to gain the power I wield, and the will not to use it. You are but a baby in comparison. Frankly, I'm surprised you changed into such an old chicken. How did you manage that, by the by? You were muddling the simplest cantrip when last I observed you. I have progressed much since then, and I borrowed a few items to speed the process. As I thought. Well, it's obvious you can steal my tools, but not my understanding of them. Hold still while I dispel this foolish facade. Can't very well get my property back while it's polymorphed into you. Wait a moment. I did not possess any items that allow the casting of that enchantment. Wait. Oh dear. Melacamp, listen very carefully. What did you take? Nothing too valuable, I swear. I, just some components, a few scrolls, a beat-up pair of bracers, a, a blank spellbook, some parchment. A pair of... Little fool. The bracers in my locked and trapped safe. I certainly hope you can develop a taste for chicken feed because you are going to be stuck the way you are for a very long time. I, I know I stole from you, but you can't leave me like this. Please, Master Thalantir, please. It is not a matter of whether I wish to help or not, simply that I do not have the power to undo what you have done. Hmm. What sort of item could cause such a problem for even a such a mage as yourself? Hmm. The magic that so many revere today was not always the same as it is now. Any adventurer worth his salt should know this. And know that not every bauble they wring from a dungeon will be helpful. The bracers in question were a vain little reminder of... Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Suffice to say that I have no idea what their intended function was, and I was in no position to ask their former owner. Years have passed since my... release. And the spoils of that Netherese ruin remain as enigmatic as ever. 
They resist even the strongest divination, and attempts to dispel result only in explosive consequences. Some things should just stay buried. Okay, so this is some sort of, perhaps, malfunctioning artifact from ancient Netheril. Okay, well, is there nothing to be done? Can we help? If you are willing, then I will do what must be done. We will need a component that I do not have on hand, and it will be your job to get it. I will require the head of an undead creature, and a simple skeleton skull will do. Bring it back here, and I will try to bend a few magical rules to reincarnate this foolish boy. Reincarnate? But does that spell not require the recipient to be dead? There must be a dead element. Yes, that is what the skull is for. I cannot fully explain what I am to try, but it's something of a reversal on the reincarnation scheme. The age of the enchantment that changed you may allow for a loophole in the laws of magic. Of course, it may just kill us both in the casting. Such is life. Off you go to some dungeon or another. Return with a skull. Go. Hmm. A skull, you say? A skull? Wherever would we get one of those? <laughs> Hello again, my young adventurers. I see you have the needed component. Well, shall we see if our young man regains his life, or if he'll eventually be someone's fest hall dinner? Your workshop Ta da! And that, as they say, is that. I, I have arms! Arms and hands and feet and... Oh, thank you, Master Thalantir. Thank you. Yes, yes, boy. Now be quiet a moment. Blast it. The braces are no longer on him. It is as I feared. Likely they either spent what magic they had in a single charge, or it is their want to be whisked away after inflicting the damage they do. I had hoped to seal them away, but now it's certain they will fall into the hands of some other unfortunate fool. Tell me, Melacamp, do you quite feel yourself again? I... I think so. Good. Though it was the greatest of luck you did not retain a wing for a limb. You always were a bit cockeyed, but I suppose that doesn't count. I suggest you remain here, however, so that I might keep an eye on you. If you insist on playing with the forces of magic, at least I should see that you understand them. Perhaps you will be a touch more cautious now that you have experienced what can go wrong. Yes, Master Thalantir. <sighs> I suppose your master I must be. And you, Generic. I trust you will be cautious in your travels as well. I wish you intelligence on your journeys. I would wish you luck, but it runs out much quicker than you would think. Good day. Hey! All right. Brought a skull back to Thalantir as requested. His attempt to restore Melocamp was a success. The young man's body withstood the strain of transformation again, and he seems eager to learn from his mistakes. Thalantir cautioned that a tragic ending was just as likely, and that care should always be taken in the use of magic, no matter how benign it seems. Okay. I have a lot to learn, but at least I'll live to learn it. Indeed. It shall be as There we, we go. Finally put a pin in that chapter. Ta-da! Let's check everybody's experience points. 4,100, 9,300... 2,900, almost 14,000, almost 18,000, almost 20,000. Okay. Well, makes sense. Huh. All right. It's a good thing that we uh, found those skulls earlier and sold them to him. Otherwise, we would have had to come all the way back outside to get one. That's why the skeletons around here drop skulls. There are skeletons in other places that will drop skulls, uh, but the ones here 
almost always do, and that's why. I shall attend to it in quest. a trice. All right, let's go get some rest, and then I think it's time to continue our quest elsewhere. I must rest. I have a bad case of armor, chief. <laughs> Indeed, Minsk. Let's take care of that. I shall attend to it in a trice. Alright, there we go. And we haven't picked up any additional items or anything, so now it's time to just head back out. So where... Are we going from here? It's time to pick a new destination. So goodness knows we have plenty of other zones to explore. We've got this area over by Candlekeep. We have the Olcaster School that we could explore. We have some more wilderness here. Uh, or we can head on to the Larswood and in the direction of the bandit camp. What do y'all think? We've got some characters who are pretty close, like reasonably close to a level. So that means that if we go out to some of these wilderness zones, then we might be able to level them up again before we go pursuing the main story. Of course, the Olcaster School, that can be a dangerous place, but it is also a profitable dungeon. So we can go check that area out, or we can just go straight towards the main story. There's also Gurky's Cloak. If we head back to the Friendly Arm Inn, then over in this direction is where we're going to find the Cloakwood. So we can uncover some more of these zones. Do you have a preference? I really enjoyed doing the Firewine Bridge and the Firewine Ruins last time. So I'm kind of, like, I want to do the Olcaster School. We're probably strong enough for that. And we could find some good stuff, if I remember correctly. I, I think there are one or two specific items that I can recall down there. But... Mm, I'm not 100% certain whether or not we've got, like, time to do the entire thing in this stream, so... But the worst that happens is, uh, if we don't finish it, then we'll do it next time. Okay. It shall be Let's as go that wish. direction, then. I also like stuff. And powerful stuff makes us stronger, so that we can take on even more challenges. Which I love. That's one of the great things about Dungeons & Dragons, it kind of pulls you forward, is that the better you do in the game, the better you keep doing in the game. Okay, here we go. A new map ahead of us. I shall attend to it in a trice. But yeah, you know, as you level up and learn new abilities and you gain access to new, more powerful equipment and such, uh, it just makes it all the more easy. My wow. blade will cut you down to size. Let me go ahead and have you switch to Harrower because there's going to be a lot of this in the region. My blade will cut you down to size. But yeah, with everything that happens, every success, my blade will cut you down to size. It makes the next uh, the next success come that much quicker require that much less effort. My right. blade will cut you down to size. Oh, and these are just generic I skeletons, so that means that we don't have to worry too much about searching for right. like, thoughts spinning up in this. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Rask! We could turn these, but I don't want to have to chase them. I want to actually kill them. Let's give them a right thrashing. In a couple more levels, some of these skeletons might be instantly destroyed when we turn undead. 
I think that Baldur's Gate 1 works on a fairly reliable translation in that respect of the original, like, second edition or Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules, but I don't know for absolutely certain. Not a hundred percent. Good on you if you save the day. I have to drag out my second edition player's handbook and consult the table. Ooh, it's Furret. Hello. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Wayfarers, way up a moment. I wish to have a word with you. You are adventurers, are you not? Yes, and why should you care? Well, that's good then. You see, I'm an adventurer of sorts. Of course, I'm not very fond of battle. I like to pilfer objects from ruins and monstrous lairs and try my best to avoid getting hurt. Anyway, I have something that might interest you. I have a gem in my possession. A magical gem. I have no use for it, and I can't get the price I'm looking for from anyone I've met. Uh, would you perhaps be interested? Uh, so what exactly does this gem do for it? Oh, of course! It's a gem of true see- a gem of true seeing. Mm. It allows you to see the truth in all things. So, do you want it? I'm selling it for a thousand gold. No more, no less. Hmm. A thousand gold for a gem of true seeing, you say? Now, a gem of true seeing, if it's real, of course, uh, is a really powerful and wonderful magic item. However, the thing is, this guy might seem a little suspicious to you, and he should seem a little sus, right? And that's because he doesn't actually have a gem of true seeing. Uh, it's just a... Uh, <laughs> it, it's it's just like a plain gem. He's absolutely trying his best to fleece us. So we're not gonna buy it. How about selling it for less than a thousand gold? Oh, I can't sell such a gem for less than a thousand gold. Okay, well then buy. Well, it's too bad that you couldn't see the obvious value of this gem. Oh, I guess I'll be on my way. Now here's the thing. You might remember... Uh, we've encountered a couple of pickpockets and charlatans already in the game. And there is no reputation penalty for doing them in because they're already criminals. Furret falls into that category. So, what do you say? Shall we see if he's carrying anything else worthwhile? Or shall we just let him walk away? Because he did try to fleece us. He tried to pull a snake oil salesman gig on us. Now, of course, Jen and company don't know that in character, but we know that in character. We did come to this region to get stuff. More importantly, is it more heroic to let him walk away or, uh, you know, like, is it more heroic to stop him because we know that he's going to try and fleece somebody else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he fell onto my sword. He fell Black onto my sword down to side. ten times. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> You're a queer this way. One floor cache, and there we go. He just has regular leather armor, dagger, and a turquoise gem. And that's what he wanted to sell for a thousand gold. I shall attend to it in a truck. Just a plain turquoise. And don't get me wrong, I love a well-cut turquoise as much as the next fella, but it's not a gem of true seeing. A gem of true seeing allows you to see through uh, invisibility spells, illusions. You can even see the true forms of transformed creatures. So if we'd had a gem of true seeing, uh, we would have been able to tell that Melicamp was, you know, was a human and so on. Even before he told us. Okay, let's go down the middle path, I think.
This map has some complicated geography. Which is fine, because I love when the game switches it up. You don't want every map to look the same. Forward march. For the fallen! Let's switch back to Varscona. That's gonna do better against the Hobgoblins. My blade will cut you down to size. Let's give them a right fresh. Indeed, right. let's give them a right fresh. Let's give them a right fresh. It shall be as you wish. Right, anything worthwhile? I'll do my best. Hey. I'll drop some little treasure stuff. That adds up, of course. You have but to ask. Silver rings and pearls and turquoise gems and so forth. There we go. That brings us right back to where we were. Go for the eyes, fool! Go for the eyes! Oh, it's Wilco. Oh, his brother Roger is here. Not in this. Four of them. Okay, we'll come back. Just one second, Mr. Wilco. Let's give them a right fresh. You have but to ask. I can, but try. For lower cat. For lower cat. I'll grab some arrows for Emma when she's shot quite a few. I actually feel bad not taking, like, maybe this is just me. This is just a me thing. I'm probably the weird one. But I feel bad not taking all of these, um, like, perfectly good suits of leather armor and swords and helmets and stuff. Because, first of all, it's just litter. You have But, but to even ask. more than that, like, these things take a lot of skilled labor to make. And if we don't go back and sell them somewhere, it's not about the gold. It's about they're just going to go to waste out here in the, the nothingness, in the middle of nowhere. And I kind of hate the thought of that, but... What you want? Here we go. I must get through to all of them, I must. Baldur's Gate demands a stop to the raids of its merchant caravans. I deliver messages quick and true, but when last I heard, Alm was requesting the same of Baldur's Gate. Someone is certainly confused somewhere, but it's not my business to think. Must run. Yeah, you occasionally just you come across these couriers in the wastelands, this group and it's just to update you on like the larger events surrounding the story that are going on while you are out adventuring, to tell you what is happening between the great powers of the Sword Coast. Yeah, we are leaving quite a mess, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, there's a path up that way. Let's give them a little side. How dare you shoot Minsk for one damage. Go for the eye. Oh, it was a poisoned arrow. So like actually though. There. Definitely worth a spell to not let one damage turn into ten or fifty. If none are better. Perfect. It shall be as you wish. Let's go this way. What I'm thinking is we may clean out this zone and not actually get to the Oldcaster School ruins in this stream. And if that's the case, then um, we'll I do Oldcaster next time. We'll see how long it takes us, though. By the time that we've cleared out the map and dealt with all the random encounters and stuff like that, uh, if there is a significant amount of time left, then we will at least get started on the dungeon. Look at this, this big table land up here, and then all of these other highlands. I actually love this map because of the interesting geography. 
Like I said, I love it when the game mixes it up. Every map shouldn't look the same. And of course they don't in Baldur's Gate, even though there are quite a few wilderness maps that are just basically, here's a big square of grass with some trees on it. Even then, they are pretty good about putting things in, such as, uh, you know, ruined houses or caves or the like, to um, mix it up. Come on, everybody. There you go. Come around this way. Pathfinding, folks. Let's give them a I know we're not playing Pathfinder, but uh, surely you can find your way. Here I took a bunch of flaming arrows to the face. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes, Frosk! Yes, the bald, red, red-tailed eagles. As directed. There we go. Hard to click on for some reason. Stack all of these up, and then we should be able to identify them and just give them to Emmeline. Excellent. Yes, good. We've got almost two full stacks, which means that I feel pretty good about using them. Let's have another hit of healing. I feel a little bit better about uh, 47 hit points versus 25. Back down the slope and around the path. Over the river, through the woods, to Grandmother's house, we go. Let's not have dinner here in front, maybe? Perhaps? Just a suggestion. This group shows promise exceptional. Well, thank you, Denna here. You are a big part of that, so... After all, that's why we went out of our way to save you and add you to our party. There's some real tension in the music here. Makes you feel like you're sneaking up on a, uh, a nasty encounter. You're going to come around one of these big rock formations here and find a bunch of ogres or a giant... Something serious. Not hobgoblin. Oh, I hope I'm not in this. More poison. Great. I'm glad that spell has such a fast casting time. I can, but try. Khalid, please. You have but to ask. Nothing over there? Okay. Fair enough, I guess. I can't rip. Oh, there it is. I was about to say I can't remember if there's a path to get up on top of this particular rock formation. But here it is, so... Good for us. Sadly, there's not really anything up here. Hmm. Oh well. That's fine. We've got one more place to go. The actual Olcaster school is up here. 
So now we'll investigate the ruins. Accompanied by this threatening background music. Okay, here we go. All in a line. There's a little grass up here. It's a bit nicer environment. Until you find what you're looking for. Aha! Flesh here. Enough to make me whole again. Oh. <laughs> You'll taste this flesh over my dead body. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no. Halt, Wraith, and reveal thy nature. Need of Back me? to Harrower, I think. Go, Go for the fallen! eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Run! This is probably serious enough that we should use a spell. Let's start with some acid. We've got a bunch of charges of uh, magic missile. Might as well do that. There we go. I should Sorry, Ingrid. I mean, sorry, not sorry, right? If none of he did better. start it. Ooh, fancy helmet. Let's see what we can see here. Who doesn't have a helmet that needs one? Everybody does. Okay, good. Now, of course, we're wearing the eyes of truth. But this helmet has wings on it instead of horns. Who gets the winged helmet? I... <laughs> this class of decorative helmet made from reinforced leather and metal covers the face and head. Eye slits and breathing holes come highly recommended. They're not mandatory. They're not legally required, but they are highly recommended. Hmm. Let's see. Khalid has been doing a lot of heavy lifting. There. How about we give him the uh, the winged helmet jade ring and this is a flail plus one well we just got rid of one of those you have but to ask whole caster skull there we go so now we get to see the actual old caster school ruins ruins everywhere Or any drop to drink? Something like that, probably. Okay, let's map out the edge. Then we'll go into the actual ruins themselves. Which, as you can see, are already populated by something nasty. Let's go back up. Spread out a little bit when you do a lot of walking around. We don't want Emma and Denna here in front or Khalid trailing in the back. More skeletons. For us. Okay, just in case, let's have Emma when searching for traps. I shall attend to it in a trice. You can see the shells of the buildings here. How it looked like, you know, it was something else at some point. Before it became this. See the columns here. Must have been a nice place. Must have been a beautiful building. Oh, 
or skeletons. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Go oh, for the eyes, Go go for the eyes. Rust! I think we went all the way around to find the doorway to shoot from. I love that. And like, honestly, smart. Oh, here we go. Oh, I Gasps. Really not in Ugh. Remember, those are like ghouls, but upgraded. Oh, no. There we go. Myths got paralyzed. And he got inflicted with a disease. Uh, I'm gone. There we go. Oh, Khalid got paralyzed. Uh, let's not screw around here. Let's maybe just. You have but to ask. Quite nasty. His good as done. Guests are gross. I hate them. Mm, perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Now we just have to wait for Khalid. It shall be as you wish. Multiple stacks of paralysis coming off of him. Ugh, that was a nasty fight, but we got through it. And that should be the last of everything in the surface ruins, I think. Oh, except for that. The old caster school. old Ulcaster himself. Okay, well, we will speak with him momentarily. You can see he's wearing a mage's robe like Denny here now is. Okay, we need to cure their disease. Remove disease or cure disease is a third level spell, so we are going to have to get rid of call lightning. And... Also going to have to get rid of something here. Let's do... Oh, no, he's got Cure Disease. Ah, excellent. Good. That'll take care of one of them. Okay, well, in that case, I forgot that we had had him already memorize it. Ooh, it didn't come off. Hmm. Oh, he's nauseated. Okay, that's all right. That's better because that is the disease-like, whatchamacallit, icon. What is it this time? Okay, in that case, let's rest. Uh... It shall be as you wish. Shall be as you wish. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Go for the eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Let's go through this random encounter, I guess. Oh, my heart's really not in this. I turn them. See, this is why I don't use turn undead. If you're in a big crowd, it can be helpful, but. Try to rest again without an encounter. It shall be as Dang, wish. that was a super loud, and I apologize. Holy hell. That was the sound effect for both of their, like, nauseas uh, coming undone at once. Whew. Okay, and Olcaster has wandered away. Go for the eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Rust! Oh. 
That was <laughs> unpleasant. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Oh my gosh. Down this side. We're gonna have to rest again. Because of the commandos. Dang! Oh, I they thought Spitty not the shit out of Jahira really quickly. Alright! Oh, I thought Spitty not in this. Let's give them a right crash! I shall attend to it in a trot. Gosh. As directed. That was rough. Poor Jahira. I'm sorry, girl. Picked up some more flaming arrows. At least. I guess. Nature serve is good as done. Those others had some cash. How may I be able to I shall attend to it with trust. Where did the old little caster go? I think it might be because it's hour six. Yeah, like he only appears at night, I think is his shtick. And now that the sun has risen, it's like, you know, it counts as morning. That's all right. Orion would be proud your I certainly hope so. What is it this time? Okay, let's rest again. Go my for the oh my god, kobolds, leave us alone. You have no dog in this fight. My let's give them a little crash. Down you can see how many of them are happening as well with each random encounter. Let's give That's them an indicator crash. of our level. Like, oh yeah, probably need more of these little guys to actually deal with people who are different. Let's give level. them a right crashing. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! It's good as done. Cash. Dead bodies everywhere. And gold pieces as well. Those arrows up. Hmm. A magic missile scroll. Hey. Right here. We'll give these to Emma one. And I think Jahira or Denahir, yeah, she already has a stack. Good. It shall be as you wish. Okay, there we go. There he is. I thought he only appeared at night, but it's obviously daytime. Best of schools. He doesn't really say anything useful, at, you know, at first. A storehouse of arcane. what we needed. So the ghost of Olcaster lingers in the ruins of his school hoping someone will uncover. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? Yes, thank you, Minsk. Um, here we go. 
uh, hoping that someone will uncover some of the tomes buried beneath the rubble. Perhaps I can offer him some solace by finding them. So there we go. Now we have our quest. That's what we need to do. And here we are. The ruins of the Olcaster School. Hmm. Let's see. We still have a few minutes. Let's see how far we can get. I shall attend to it in a trice. Hmm. Which direction? This goes closer to the wall. Let's actually, let's go this way. Finding anything, Emmeline? Ooh. Hmm. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Let's see what's on this corpse. Correct done. Ooh. Potion, a lot of floor cash, and a dagger. Right. Wait a second. I forgot. There. Fair enough. And this is, yeah, a potion of genius. That could be quite useful. A dagger plus one. Not bad. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. You have but to ask. Dire wolves. Okay. Here. Underground. Let's give them a Firewolves light in my dungeon? It's more likely than you think. Camaraderie. Action. Steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Yes. Right, boo? I shall attend to it in the trunk. Gemstone and a potion of strength. Nice. How may I be of assistance? I'm hoarding these potions because obviously, as you can tell, we don't super need them right now. So I'm hanging on to them uh, for things like boss fights when we will need them later on. That's up here. More direwolves. For the fallen! Oh. 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 Okay, good. He is using Varsco. What is he supposed to make sure? For the fallen! It shall be as you wish. What you want? Right. It shall be as you wish. This way, this way. Hmm. Yeah, it could have been. Maybe that's what it was. Is uh, what do they call them? Oh, my heart's really Obedience schools. Could be an obedience school for these, uh, these dire wolves. All right. I... Oh, poor Khalid, he's uh, taking most of the damage here. On the other hand, yep. I'm not mad about all the experience points we're racking up because those dire wolves ask. are worth 650 a pop. So that means that some of our characters are going to rack that up pretty quickly. It is split between all of them, of course, so that means that they're getting like, you know, less than 110 each time per person. But still. Let's go uh, this way. Go around the bottom. We'll get the corner. There's not a lot of traps down here. It mostly is just dire wolves, I think. <laughs> what I just said. Oh, that's hysterically funny. Okay, that was perfect timing. Oh my god. That's so funny. That's so funny. 
Okay, that's a big one, so I'm actually this going way. to, because it's like a fireball trap. There's something most unnatural here, and I want no part of it. There we go. Whew. Much better. <laughs> I don't even know why it's there. Like, there's nothing here. So. <laughs> I shall attend to it in a trice. Right on cue. I could not possibly have planned that better. Another dead body. Do you see anything, Emily? Ooh, 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 God, that was close. They were actually on the, like, I've the danger area. Did you see that? I don't know how we didn't trigger that. Holy shit. Who wants a full plate and fucking steel? Okay, these are arrows of biting, perhaps? Yes. Arrows of Biting. Must save versus death or lose 30% of their maximum hit points within 20 seconds. So it's like um, enchanted poison, sort of. And these are... Mm, I don't know. We'll have to find out later. Huh, you're a queer fellow. You have but to ask. Oh, hmm. Hello. Down to size. What you want? I'm gone. As directed. How may I be? It shall be as you know. Oh, I better. Bots really not in this. Use this as a choke point. Sort of. Kind of. A bit. It doesn't work as well as it does in some other games. Go for the I, eyes, I, 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 you can push the through eyes. unoccupied space sometimes and whatever, but let's give them a right thrashing. Well, no two damage. I think that justifies a uh, healing spell. We're down to the yellow. So... I shall attend to it in a trot. Yep. So many puppers. I've done had enough of this. So many nasty bad doggos. You point. I. But kicking for goodness. Oh, that's a wand. See what did I say about all this good stuff? Oop. Vampiric wolf. Vampiric wolf. Oh boy. Here we go. My blade will cut you down the side. As well as I can. Let's not screw around with this one. Let's take him out as quickly as possible. There we go. Okay. How about to us? I should Last time we fought a vampiric wolf, that was uh, very nasty. Okay, who's low on healing potion? This Jahira actually probably needs this one. Put these others away. Turn trap finding back on. It's worth 2,000 points by himself, though. We'd love to see that. Okay, we're close to the beginning. I shall attend to it in a trot. But that's a dead end. So we have to go back this way. Ooh, look at that. Just a pile of bodies. If none are better, we will roam the clean! Alas, my life's blood seeps out. Hilarious. Okay, come on, Emowyn. This way. There we go. It's like I knew. This group shows promise exceptional. It shall be as you wish. My spleen. That's one of my favorites. Old Caster's Dusty History Book. Unnatural here, and I want no part of it. 
let's give these to... Khalid. He, he needs a lot of healing. These are more arrows of ice. Oh, I thought they were going to be more arrows of biting, actually. Well, cool. Kill giant strength. Oil of fiery burning. Ooh. Hmm. I should keep that out where we don't forget about it. And an antidote. See, Khalid has one. Minsk should probably be carrying one of those for preference. Can she identify this? No. Oil of fiery burning is like a uh, a pretty nasty sort of grenade situation. I shall attend to it in a trunk. Now, from the color, I'm gonna guess those are arrows of venom, maybe. Oh, acid arrows. Okay, similar. Close enough. This way. All right, fine. Get away, get away. Let's give them a right fresh. Ooh, Jin just went in for the kill. Did you see that? Jin smash. I shall take you to the I shall attend to it in a trunk. Good work. Good work, party. Okay, I think that that's it. For this I shall area. attend to it in a trunk. that there are no more traps this way, or at least if there are, we didn't step on them the first time. Let's head up this direction. Good, Minsk is in front. Anything, Emowyn? No? Okay, we're trusting you. There are so many places I would rather be. Fair enough. Thing there. All right, let's just head back up this way then. It looks like right here in the middle and ironically over here next to the entrance are the only places we didn't clear out. Ooh, hmm, hmm. Uh oh. We saw webs. I knew what was coming. Okay, good. No one's poisoned yet. And we have slow poison spells. If need be. We're going to make another save. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Can I help you? I can, but try. We love when nobody is poisoned. Okay. Let's give these to... Jahira. I think that's it. I feel like there was some more somewhere. Nothing? Okay. Good. It shall be as you wish. It shall be as you wish. Actually, let's regroup. Denny here and Amberlin. We don't want them out in front. Okay. Nothing. Oh, we see a friendly bat. Hello. Or is it friendly? Let's find out. Bat has nothing to say to you. <laughs> Rude. We went all the way over there to talk to it, too. Can't believe that. I've done had enough of this. Okay. 
it shall be as you wish. Alright, last little bit. And when do you see anything? Don't let us down. Okay, she's not finding anything. Let's head this way. Down in here, this way. Come on. Ooh, an ochre jelly. I hate that. All right. Thankfully, we have magic weapons. And a mustard jelly as well. Ooh. Each of those has different properties, different resistances, uh, deals a different kind of damage. But both are awful. Like you can see, see, they, very, they resist slashing damage. Mustard jellies are highly poisonous. Oh, he slowed, not poisoned. My bad. Dummy me. I've done had enough of this. It shall be as you wish. I can, but try. Regular Bastard Sword, Split Mail, Protection Scroll. Okay. Cool. It shall be as you wish. Why does it look like we didn't go in there? I know we did. Poor Minsk. That slow effect will wear off eventually. I'm just gonna have him Full wait here. Plate and packing steel. How may I be of assistance? Everyone else can deal with whatever's down here if there is anything. I'm just gonna do a double check of this room because that little bit of fog of war is still there, and I thought that we fully explored this. But if we did it not, be then. Missed something. See? There's nothing there. I knew it. Now, in the past, when I played this game before and I was younger, um, I was convinced that there was something about this bat because it's the only one down here, right? It's just hanging around all these monsters, not getting eaten. Uh, and then you run into the vampire wolf. I thought that the bat was like maybe a disguised vampire or something, but no. It's, it is just bat. It am bat. Give everybody a little healing. We're gonna do that when we rest anyway, so. I'm wait for Nitz's slow to wear off. Let's see if we can get everyone to full health. Come on, there we go. Hey! It shall be as you wish. It's a good thing Ulcaster is right near the entrance to the dungeon because otherwise it would be painful trying to wait on Nitsk to drag his butt over there. There we go. Okay. So here we go, Oldcaster's Dusty History Book. This is the History of the Sisters of Light and Darkness, which is a book we've actually seen before. So, and this is like a creation myth of Toril. Um, I will leave that for you to read since it is not directly plot relevant. Knowledge returns with these simple words on parchment to teach once more in a celestial class. I will prevent the same 
from happening someday. When I presented the ghost of Ulcaster with one of his lost books, he seemed to regain some of his frayed sanity. And we gained a thousand experience points. We all shall live again someday. Cool. And there we go. One more quest complete. Excellent. And Minsk is no longer slowed. Good, good, good. So everything is back to normal. <laughs> I'm glad we got to do another dungeon. We'll have to decide what we're going to do next time. Uh, for now, I'm going to head on to Baragost, and we will go back there. We'll sell our junk. We'll get some rest, get our spells back. And then uh, y'all let me know where you would like to go next time. Because there will, of course, be more Baldur's Gate it shall be next as Saturday. Will. It's 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the box. U.S. And now is a great time, if you've made it this far, to follow if you are not following, because after all, it is free. And uh, if you are watching the YouTube upload, then I definitely appreciate when you subscribe over there also. You can like this video if you enjoyed it or if you like Baldur's Gate, and uh, turn it on notifications so that you will know whenever I update our playlist on the YouTube channel with new episodes of Baldur's Gate, or with any of our other series such as Hellgate London or the 13th Doll that Specific Pixel and I are playing on Mondays. And I hope that you'll come back for both of those as well. There will be more Hellgate London on Thursday in the same time slot, and we play the 13th Doll on Mondays. Although, I'll go ahead and give you a heads up, there is not going to be a stream on December the 13th, just so you know. And I'll tweet that out as well, so be sure to uh, follow over on Twitter in addition to Twitch and YouTube so that that way you get news like that about what we're doing here on the channel because we will always tweet out whether there's a cancellation or if there is a, uh, you know, a, a, a poll to d help decide what new games we're going to play next on the channel. We always do that. And if you're interested you are more than welcome to subscribe here on Twitch. Or you can pledge to our Patreon, and when you do that, then if you have specific old retro games that you want to see, then uh, you can get those bumped to the top of the list by pledging over on our Patreon. It shall be as you wish. All right, well, this has been a great stream. We got a couple of level ups. We got some equipment upgrades. We did a dungeon, we tackled some quests. I feel very satisfied, and honestly, I have to be real with you, uh, I'm really enjoying where our adventures are taking us and how they are going. It's been a lot of fun so far, and there is a lot of meat on the Baldur's Gate bone, so that means that uh, there's plenty of adventuring left to be done. I shall attend to it in a trice. So be sure to tweet at me, drop me a comment on YouTube, Message me in the chat here on Twitch. I'm going to sell the rest of this stuff while you let me know where you would like to go next or if there is a specific place you'd like to go next. And it's also fine to just be like, hey, let's do some more wilderness adventuring or I'm tired of trees. Let's go, you know, follow the main story. Let's go do a dungeon, whatever you like. We'll figure it out and uh, we will progress from there. The I'll see you more next time, and until then, as always, thanks for playing.